Hey there everyone, this is MarkyMan64 here welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play LEGO Jurassic World on the PS4. This is episode number 2. So in the last episode we introduced you to some of the, the main characters. Um, in the prologue story, we also arrived on the island, which you can see before us. Um, we're not going to do any of the collectibles just now, like you can see the gold brick on this little sub-island. Um, we're not able to do most collectibles just now, or we're not able to do quite a lot of them. So I'm not going to kind of figure out what ones we can and can't do. We're probably going to do that. We're probably going to do it just like how I did with the latter stages of LEGO City Undercover. I'll probably go back into the levels and uh, play through the free play mode and intersperse that with some of the regions in the... Speaking of which, let's claim this region and you can see all the collectibles that you can get in this area, um, which I think... Is it, is it named? Do you know what name it is? No, it's just a map point. Okay. Um, yeah, so, like, we won't do that just now, but we will go back in uh, to the levels, replay them, and intersperse that with some of the regions, and I'll probably do a region at a time as much as possible. Um, but anyway, let's continue with the story with this point here that we walk into. You'll find a great dino fact just down there. Yeah, so Mr. DNA has different dino facts in the in the bottom there and a little diorama the of the advanced. scene. Amusement park in the entire world. <laughs> Why don't you all sit down? Just one drop of blood contains billions of strands of DNA. The building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito. <laughs> and now we can make a baby dinosaur. Good day, Henry. Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That's it. So I'm kind of control you're attempting is uh, it's not possible. Listen, there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us it's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. They remember. All right, let's feed these overgrown lizards then. Okay, so we're back in the at the Velociraptor enclosure where we were at the start. Only it's daytime now. And let's see if there's anything else we can collect other than studs. <laughs> um, yeah, so I need to build this. This is one of my favourite pieces of music in the game. In the movies, rather. Well, in, the, in both, I suppose. It's just that kind of gentle music. If you if you watch my Let's Play of... Or my kind of unfinished Let's Play of LEGO Star Wars, the complete saga, um, I talk about the kind of peaceful music that John Williams writes. That I really like. And this is one of them, especially when there's like, you know, the 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 tunes that he writes for 
this sort of movie with like the marches and stuff like that and like Star Wars and you know like all these kind of powerful marches Indiana Jones and then you have the juxtaposition to the the kind of peaceful music yeah quite like that okay square x square square x square there we go I quite I quite like the the character of Muldoon it is complicated because like obviously the the understanding is that he's he's hunted animals and like he has that kind of way about him and that's not nice. <laughs> that's not nice to think about that he's worked in the Kenyan reserves and hunting animals. I, I don't know if that's if that is what he's actually done or if I'm picking up wrong but I'm pretty sure that's what you're meant to think. But the the cow is is a is a is a vehicle that you can ride and he'll he'll munch on There's beef, huh? Boy, those raptors eat better than I do. <laughs> Wake up the, the crane driver who's asleep. <laughs> so he managed to uncover this handy target. Even even the guns that we've got, if 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 I can fire it right. Oh, right. Okay, I get got something by accident. But you can see that there are trank darts, not bullets. So he's not he's not firing bullets. And I forgot that you can actually fire this, and it might get us more stuff. Um, what else? Do I need to shoot? Oh, these cameras, right? I need to... Yes. Okay. I am going to see if there's any more cameras to shoot. I don't... I don't particularly want to go out my way, but I'm... I already am. <laughs> going out my way to, to collect stuff. Let's see if there's a camera over here. No. Where's the other cameras? Are they down the bottom? They might be down the bottom here. Yeah. Is that one and then that's the other one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I kind of wanted to just get another of the, the mini kits. Also, is there anything down here that I can easily get? No. This is all like stuff that we've done earlier on. Or I did earlier on. You saw the other day <laughs> when you when you Someone potentially watch the the um oh does it need to be him okay so I want to get the cow first you might be watching these in in years to come hopefully I haven't taken that long in the let's play sorry if I have <laughs> I have I have a history with, with Lego games, <laughs> but I didn't I didn't take and this is kind of putting the pressure on. But I didn't take that long to to do the to play through it originally, like last year. How are they doing? Feeding them. <laughs> the essence of chaos. He survived. These will be your transports for the afternoon. The driver. No, 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 no driver. They're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Well, spared no expense. He says that quite a lot. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the oh. butterfly. A butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and in Central Park. You get rain instead of sunshine. Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Alan? Wow. 
Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. <gasps> I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. Of course you do, Ellie. Of course you do. Um, so this is back in the level. Well, no, we've already been playing the level, but this is this is back from the cutscene. I kind of felt like that was a... You know, some of these levels are too short on their own. Oh, I forgot to... I need to activate the dinosaur and find out what's what it's needing. Which I need to do from here. Okay, and then above it, this is... Uh, Throughout the island, you can see bits like this, where above it, it's um, it shows how to make it better. So this is kind of preparing you yes. for that. We know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Okay, when you're getting close to things. You can see they they get down on their hands and knees, and so anything dirt related other than digging Ellie does and characters like her so she waters plants or she waters you know well she waters plants that's that's correct and she also dives into the the poo to investigate the poo um which she is about to do again now they, they do do quite a good job with this of finding things that each character can do. Um, sometimes it's unique but sometimes shared by other characters and they're quite good at that in all the games really but in this game specifically you know that the fact that Ellie does investigate droppings and other characters do investigate droppings they're all in that category and then the fact that you know um, Alan knows how to build dinosaurs, I suppose. <laughs> That's his ability and um, I don't know what, it, I mean I suppose she has a botanist so like she'll water plants. <laughs> but yeah, so these always do something like give you a plant that, that allows you to get up to places or to cross bridges or to do something. He has a, a trank gun that can shoot these targets and no one can go in this cave at the moment but again we will get characters that can go into dark places and that's another kind of character type that somewhat ties into the the movie or it does actually tie in quite well to the to the movie. Um, I can't remember what they Oh yeah, I do remember what they need to do up here. She needs to... No, he needs to grab this and follow it to its end. I think he... does he not plant it or something? What does he do? So he makes a tree or something. Oh, she, he finds a, a pot, a plant, not a pot, a, a plant to for her to water. And she waters it and gives us either like an apple, I think I think that's meant to be. And that's one of the things that the Triceratops is wanting. Um I don't think it's in the game, but in the movie Alan talks about that the Triceratops being one of our one of one of his favourite dinosaurs when he was growing up. And it was one of mine's growing up as well. Okay, so yes, we become dinosaurs. Certain dinosaurs, especially plant eaters, we can become. And they are very handy in, in levels at clearing the way and being able to uh, get as many studs as possible from things. And they also like to break through things like that. 
there we go, and then the other one is over the other side. So I need to run through here. This is one of those situations where it's not taking the the, the movie and and changing it like this could have happened. I mean, it obviously didn't. <laughs> it wouldn't have happened in the the universe of the movies, but it could have happened. And because like you don't actually see her make her way back to the visitor center, like you don't have that perspective. I need to move him out the way and then it starts to rain. Now in this the rain starts and that is pretty much like if you went back to the start then it would still be raining. Um, but in the island it's geographical so you can have... She's, yeah, okay. Um, it's geographical. You kidding me? Need to get across here. So, like, it's raining in some parts of the park, and it's not in others, and it's quite funny. But anyway, she needs to plant, or water this, this plant. And then the Triceratops is going to cross over. I think it will do it on its own, yeah. Um, one way to switch characters is just to press triangle, the other way is to press and hold triangle and it allows me to select them. I don't know why I always do let's plays like I'm doing a tutorial. I, I know that you're either not interested or you can probably work it out for yourself if you're playing the game but that's how I've always done <laughs> Let's please, I've always done it like I'm teaching you how to play it. Okay, there's another mini kit. Let's try and break through this. I don't know why they now trust this dinosaur, because like... It was the, the cause of not having the access to the car. Square, triangle, X. Okay, through so here, um, let's be the Triceratops so that I can clear the, the way through here. Yeah, it's a, it's a comedy of errors, <laughs> this, this, uh, this movie and this game as a result. Let's see what this is. Yes, I thought it would be another mini kit because I didn't do this last week when I played it. But I've obviously done it at some point because, as I said in the last episode, I do have the platinum trophy for this game. Okay, so I need to fix this here. So I need to get Ellie to jump up there and she will push this box the other way, the other way Ellie. She'll push this box and then inside that will be these pieces and then this will open up that gate. Like so I, I quite like the mechanics of this, the fact that you can see like I don't know if this would actually work if it was built but you can see how it would work if it was if it was needing to to be built. I don't like these bugs very much. Like they know that there's poisonous plants, but and by the way, they don't explain how how they got the the plants. Like they don't explain that anywhere in the story, as far as I'm aware. They explain how they got the dinosaurs, and okay, it's like kind of pseudoscience, but you can kind of understand where they're coming from, but they don't explain how they got the, the plants or anything else that, that isn't 
eaten by mosquitoes with the, the blood. Ah, there you go. True survivor. Perfect. Okay. So I'm clearing out everything just again to get as many studs as possible so that I'm as prepared as possible for getting the... Ah, so I've got my first amber as well. And here we go. <laughs> Waving at the triceratops. How many times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Nothing doors? Right, Item 151 on today's glitch list. We have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo when the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Dennis. <laughs> Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Go ahead. All of you. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Remember, viable embryos. They're no use to us if they don't survive. 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. Seven o'clock, D stock. Okay. Level complete. Welcome to Jurassic Park. So we're getting along quite nicely with, uh, well, how many? 130,000... 200 and 210. Um, and we again get True Survivor. So it is possible, more than possible, to get True Survivor without any multipliers. So again, a lot of these characters are unlocked, but you still need to buy them if you want them. And we have the Triceratops for doing that. You, you need the Triceratops, and you'll see why later, but... Um, so that's what you get for getting the, the Amber. But because you need the Triceratops, you... you know, you... It gives you that, basically. Okay, so we have to follow that other vehicle. Myself and, and Ian need to follow this other vehicle. These are vehicle call-in points, this thing on the left hand side. Uh, if you watched the um, Let's Play of Lego City Undercover, you'll know that they are dotted around the map and you can get vehicles from them. So we don't need to be tethered to these vehicles but yeah so the the road is blocked by a rock slide so we need to come over here and the camera goes wonky okay so he is stuck up the tree and we need to cut him down with our probably priceless Velociraptor claw. <laughs> so we have helped a worker in peril which is one of the things that you need to do throughout the island and this is where, again I wasn't spoiling too much because it was just coming up but this is where you need the Triceratops because you need the Triceratops to get through the bit in front of us. So we need to switch the Triceratops. You, I sometimes forget that you're switching to the dinosaurs. Sometimes I, I think that you're going to be climbing on them. What are these called? The, the, the worker there was speaking and his subtitle said what what dinosaurs these are, but I can't remember what they're called. The, I had the, the action figure of these dinosaurs like connected with this movie, like there was a lot of the dinosaurs were represented in, in figure and I had, the, I had them. 
much dry cleaning is on this island? Okay, so we're at the other side of the, the rock slide. I'm just going to activate this area. And I need... Doesn't anyone have a jackhammer or something? Alan to come around here because he needs to dig this out and sometimes this is when it gets confusing with who who is the the pile of mud for is it Alan or is it Ellie that is just the ticket hold on a sec okay so he's going to use that jackhammer that I dug out the ground to cleanly uh, remove these yeah, rocks from from our Dead. our way and the kids and and what looks like just Lex in there just now, but Lex and the uh, the lawyer, which I can't remember his name, are just in that other vehicle. Again, I'm not going to get. Yeah, that's when it's um, geographical. It's raining here, and then you go over here, and it's sunny. <laughs> it's kind of like um, dull over here, but um, yeah, it's it's sunny, and then you can see the the sky just turning, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm just a... Uh, okay, and you can see the the point in the ground where the next level is going to play. I bet you didn't know this. Oh, uh, I uh, finished debugging the phones, uh, but the uh, system's gonna be uh, compiling for uh, 18 to 20 minutes, so some of the minor systems, they might go on and off for a while. Anybody want a soda or something? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fences are failing all over the park. Security systems are shutting down. Phones are out too. Access main program grid. Uh, uh, uh. You didn't say the magic word. Please. I wonder if perhaps you would be good enough to be my match. Uh, uh, uh. Sure. I'm going with him. Uh, uh. Samuel L. Jackson is funny in this movie. Hey, what did I touch? Uh, you didn't touch anything. We stopped. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. You feel that? He's gone. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Okay, so we are in the T-Rex enclosure and Nidri, or Nedri, sorry, has turned the power off on some key systems because he needed to... Why did he, why did he need to do that again? I can't remember uh, <laughs> why he needed to do that. He needed to shut it down so that he could get into the, the coolers to steal the embryos of the dinosaurs for the other company and so um, it was very very bad of him 
very short sighted. Then you don't need to worry too much about this. Like I know that there's the the T Rex is just there, but you don't need to worry about like he's he's not gonna eat you. Like he's not gonna you know get you. Um, it kind of follows its own script, and also in Lego games you you don't you don't die as such you can you can kind of be disappeared but like you keep going with the the level and yet yeah, t-rexes aren't interested in bones <laughs> they want they want what's usually what's usually got bones within them <laughs> you can see that they're, they're animation in this level and in other similar levels are all slightly different as they're all like hopping about and scared <laughs> Ian's like really you know considering the T-Rex is um, motion sensitive okay so we need to help Lex out the car first and so oh no I missed it let's try again and tap circle as quickly as possible okay we have freed Lex and so we are going to continue with this level in the next episode so Yes, on that with Lex really getting terrified and standing shivering I think from either the rain or from the fact that the T-Rex is stomping about next to her. Um, we're going to leave it there folks. Join us again for another episode of Let's Play Lego Jurassic World on the PS4. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks everyone for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.